Hi everyone, here is your vocabulary list three for your upcoming quiz. Good luck as you study. The vocabulary words I'm beginning with are on page 35, and please note that I'm skipping a few here and there just to make your life somewhat tolerable. So the first word we're starting with is actually the second word in the vocabulary list on page 35. You're, of course, free to learn the other words at any time. Um, if you feel like you're getting bored with this, add more words, learn more words. So the first word is Adon, which means Lord or Master. Uh, note when we say Adonai as a substitute for the yod he vav he, um, that that comes from this word, which means uh, my lord or my master. So adon, master. Or means light. Hesed, which is on the next page, so now we're moving to page 36, third word down. Um, <clears throat> your definition has devotion, loyalty, faithfulness, and that's pretty, pretty good, pretty accurate definition. Oftentimes you'll see this word translated as loving kindness, as in um, for your loving kindness endures forever. Uh, but really it's more, I don't know, that's not a horrible translation, but really it's more about loyalty and loyalty to the covenant that was made, which of course involves loving kindness, but as uh, maybe a broader concept. So the word is chesed. And practicing your chetz here is choshech, which means darkness, choshech. Lechem, which means bread and more broadly food. So the city, the little city in the West Bank is called Beit Lechem, or house of food, house of bread. Beit Lechem, so but we're just learning Lechem. Uh, Bethlehem in English, in case you didn't catch that. Malach is a messenger or an angel. Malach. Milchama is a war or battle. Makom is a place. And if you look at the root for makom, uh, it's kof vav mem, so you get uh, rid of the initial mem there, and you're left with kof vav mem, which is the verb or the root, which develops into the verb, which means to stand up. So a makom is, is I guess, literally a standing place, but it just more broadly means place, any place. Sus is a horse. Um, Probably most useful because everyone loves to use this word Seuss uh, in charts and paradigms later on in the course, so it's a good reason to learn it now. And Ola is a burnt offering, and as your author Seau notes, it comes from the verb Ola, which means to go up or to ascend. So a burnt offering is something, is an ascending thing. It's something that goes up in the air. And really it's a participle that has developed into a noun, ultimately. So it's, it's a going up thing, which has come to mean burnt offering. And then the final word on this page is ruach, which you may recall from class means spirit wind or breath. So the Ruach Elohim is the uh, presence of God at creation. So that's it for that page. So let's next flip to page 44. We have a lot of very common words on page 44 which are great to learn. So the first word is Av, which means father. And note that its plural is Avot, you don't need to know this for the quiz. But if you look at avot, uh, hopefully by now this looks to you like a feminine plural, uh, but it's actually not a feminine plural, it's a masculine plural. So it's irregular, avot. But the word av means father. 
Ohel is tent. Ach is brother. Achot is sister. This one is tricky because if you just look at the word achot, it looks like feminine plural brothers, but this is actually a singular word meaning sister. So achot is ach is brother, achot is sister. And the plural for sister, because uh, we have to somehow get from achot to make it a real plural, is achayot. So kind of an irregular plural as well. Ish is a normal word for man. Isha, normal used word for woman, and note that uh, the word looks feminine appropriately. So Isha. Bite, which means house. Very, very common word in Biblical Hebrew. It can mean a physical house, but it also can mean uh, things like household or uh, refer to institutions or dynasties, so it's a very broadly used word. Bane is son, and note that banim are sons, so there's a little bit of a vowel change there in the plural. Bat is daughter, and note that it has an irregular plural, banot, which looks like plural feminine sons, which I guess if you want to think about it, it kind of works. But uh, anyway, bat and then the plural banot. Uh, so bat means daughter. Har is mountain. Yom is day. And note that the plural is yamim. Again, you don't need to know that for the quiz. Uh, so Yom, like Yom Kippur, is the Day of Atonement in Judaism. So if that helps you remember the word. Yom is day. Not to be confused with Yom, which is C. So don't confuse Yom and Yom. And then skipping down, we go to Maase, which is a deed. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the uh, if we get rid of the the initial mem prefix, we're left with ayin, sin, hey as a root, uh, which is our very, very common verb, which means to make or do. Yeah. It appears all over the uh, all over the Old Testament, the Hebrew Bible. Ear is city, has kind of a slightly funky plural arim. Seems like in most languages, the very common words are the most irregular words. So, ear is city. Am um is people. Rosh is head or top or chief. <coughs> Excuse me, and we use this root to make words like first or beginning or a uh, the guy that's in charge of something. And unfortunately, it's usually guys that are in charge of something in the Bible. And we have Tsar, which is commander, ruler, or prince. And you maybe remember this from our root exercise. Um, we looked at the word Sara, which was princess. So this is Tsar, prince. All right, next we are flipping to some more words. Yes, more words. On page 75. So moving down a bit, uh, Gadol means great or large. Chazak means strong or powerful, or very something that's very firm in texture. It's very Chazak. Chai. It's a little confusing adjective, which means alive or living. Uh, note the noun, which might help you remember the adjective chaim. So uh, sometimes you'll hear the Jewish toast la which means to life. 
So the la meaning to means two or four, as you learned last week, and chayim is life. But chay just means living, like um, the living God would be um, Elohim chayim. So since Elohim is plural in form, chayim uh, living is also plural in form. And here's everyone's favorite adjective, tov, which means good or beautiful. Yashar, an adjective meaning straight, just, or upright. Kaved, this one's a little difficult, meaning heavy, severe, or important. So somehow the ancient Israelites connected the idea of being heavy with the idea of being important. And I guess we sort of have this in English as well. We have the idea of um, when we're discussing weighty matters, uh, we're discussing something that's very serious or important. So the Israelites have the same idea that um, that something that is weighty or heavy is uh, important or serious or kind of kind of weighing down on us. Kaved, which means heavy. Katon, which means small, and occasionally you'll also see katan in the Hebrew Bible, uh, which also means small. So just slightly different uh, vowels there. Rav, many, great, or abundant. Ra, which means bad or evil or ugly, I guess, according to your author. I can't think of examples of that right now, but they probably are out there. Um, <clears throat> also, it's a little bit of a different idea of uh, sometimes we gravitate to evil when we see this word. Uh, but things like natural disasters in the Bible are also ra. They are they are bad, but we wouldn't call a tornado something evil necessarily. Um, so we might think of that in a more uh, certainly a bad event, but something that's that doesn't really show evil intent behind it. So maybe a little bit broader sense than uh, what you might think looking at the definition. Ra'ev, which means hungry, and notice the noun ra'av, which means famine. And your last word, rasha, which means wicked or criminal. So again, these are all adjectives, so a wicked person, a rasha. Uh, an ish rasha is a wicked man. So that's it for your vocabulary words. Um, that's a lot of words, but you have a couple of weeks to work on them. So I hope that you have found this video helpful and good luck in your studying.